Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Jesse Sorensen. I am a former TNA Impact Wrestling Superstar. I've wrestled all over the world in such promotions as Ring of Honor, currently wrestling in Paragon Pro Wrestling, which is live on Pop TV starting July 4th. Now, I'm a 25-year-old professional wrestler. I've been wrestling for about eight years. And when I was 21 years old, I got signed to TNA Impact Wrestling and all my dreams came true. I was doing well, I was traveling the world, I was wrestling all the greatest wrestlers in the world. I was living my, my dream at a very young age. And then on February 12, 2012, on a live pay-per-view versus Zima Ion for the number one contendership for the TNA X Division title, Zima Ion went for a moonsault off the top rope while I was on the floor. And his knees came down to the top of my head, breaking my C1 vertebrae and leaving me paralyzed from the neck down. This was a live pay-per-view. The entire pay-per-view had to keep going with me laying on the floor. And I remember the referee rolling out, checking on me and telling me, hey man, you gotta get up. And I remember at that moment, I, did, I really didn't feel a whole lot of pain. I went to push up and in my head, I figured I could just get up and continue the match. And then before I knew it, I looked over and I had no feeling in my arms, no feeling in my legs. They had the, uh, the referees and the EMTs come out and it turned out I was paralyzed from the neck down. I was then rushed off to a uh, Orlando hospital where they had discovered that I had broken my C1 vertebrae um, where they actually told me I probably wouldn't live through the night. And I woke up the next day still paralyzed from the neck down, not feeling anything. And it was that day that I was told I would never get feeling back and I would be lucky if I ever got feeling back in my upper body, but I would certainly never walk again and certainly never wrestle again. You know, after about three days in ICU, you know, after it was hard not to feel sorry for myself. You know, I'm sitting there literally staring at a ceiling, wondering if I was ever going to move again. And then a man by the name of Kurt Angle came in. And I'll never forget, I didn't really know Kurt very well at the time. You know, I'd, I'd seen him in shows, said, hi, how you doing, sir? But I remember Kurt came in and he told me his story of how he broke his neck in the Olympics. And he won the gold medal with a broken neck, which later became his, his gimmick, became his thing. But I respected Kurt. And I remember sitting there staring at the ceiling and Kurt Angle telling me, you know what, Jesse, you can sit here and feel sorry for yourself and you can stare at the ceiling, but it's not going to make you walk again and it's not going to get you back in that ring. And I swear it was, it was that day that, I, I don't know why, but all my feeling came back. And four days later, after a total of seven days in ICU, I walked out of the hospital on my own power. I walked out in a neck brace, went home. I spent the next three months sitting in a recliner sleeping in a recliner. I couldn't, I couldn't lay down to bed and I was miserable, but the one thing that pushed me was the fact that I wanted to get back in that ring and I wanted to do what was my lifelong dream, and that was professional wrestling. And then after three months, I got out of the neck brace. I started rehab. I rehabbed and I busted my butt for about six months. And next thing you know, I was getting back in the ring and I was living my dream again. And I started back wrestling with TNA again, and I was really wanting to get in the ring. I was really wanting to push to get back in the ring. And at the time, they just, I guess they didn't have anything for me. So, you know, I moved on and did other ventures. I started wrestling for Ring of Honor, started wrestling all over the world. And like I said, now I currently wrestle for Paragon Pro Wrestling in Las Vegas, and I travel the world and I live my dream. You know, after everything I've been through, you know, it was hard and there was a lot of times I wanted to quit and I wanted to give up. But I pushed through it, and through this challenge, I've learned that I was put on this earth to be a professional wrestler. It's been my dream since I was a little kid, and it's always going to be my dream. This is what I'm meant to do. And I believe that through this challenge, you can do anything, and I can do anything, and I push through, and I don't ever plan on giving up. You know, since breaking my neck, you know, I, I discovered a whole new purpose in life, and I really realized that to take every day, you know, and make it your best day. You know, don't take any days for granted because I found out real quick in February 12th, 2012, this party can end real quick. And, you know, I heard about this reset challenge thing that Daniel Pewter and Major Mark were doing. And, you know, I was obviously inspired because of the wrestling part, but I was really inspired to do this. And this is something that I really, I wanted to do in my life. I wanted to give back, you know, I'd, I'd live my dream and now it's time to give back. And I heard about the reset challenge they were doing and you know, when I heard about the My Life, My Power charity, it was something I knew I had to be a part of. So I got with my partner, Alex Chamberlain. You know, we cut what they call a promo. And we challenged Major Mark and Daniel Pewter back, and they accepted. 
So on June 21st, we're going to see what happens, you know, and Daniel Pewter and Major Mark, they're doing great things in the communities, and that's what Alex and I want to do. We want to do great things in our communities. You know, we want to go visit the children's hospitals. We want to visit the substance abuse drug rehabs. We want to give back, because that's, that's what our purpose is in life right now, and that's what my purpose is in life.